give me a happy marriage. That prayer cannot be answered. I'm not cursing anybody. The prayer can only be answered when you have done what you should do. God will not do. You can't ask God in prayer to do what he has already commanded you to do. Many of us over the years, we have acquired all kinds of liabilities. God sent me to you to shave. You need to shave and lay aside every weight. You know, if you have lived in a house for a long time, if you don't take time, there will be all kinds of junks. Am I, am I correct? After you have lived in the, if you greet our, if you go and greet our grandpas, I remember my grandmother, when you visit her, you see all kinds of things. She just tie everywhere. It is because of years. She has lived for many years. If you check those things, some of them are liabilities. <laughs> She's supposed to throw them away. Black and white television that has cutting is still there. <laughs> you, know, you don't know those 24 inches. Oh, Yo, no, these people don't know it. The millennials don't know the what I'm talking about. Black and white television. The one that when you own it, it's supposed to do like the pimp. They just do like this. <laughs> Praise God. That one is there. Then there's another one when they could not do colored. It is a glass that is colored. It is still black and white, but they, you keep that one to our side. There are things you should shave away. Give them away so that you can be light. Are you hearing me? Because God wants to bless you with flamboyant blessing this year. He needs space. He needs space. And there are no space. You have littered everywhere with all kinds of junks. All kinds of junks. How will he bless you? Is that borrow many verses? Not a few. Clear. You need to get to your wardrobe today and check and remove some things you have not been wearing for the last one year and three years and put them aside and just call people to come and pack them so that new arrivals can come in. Is that because I will not put a new wine in an old wine skin? Are you following me? Are you following me? Lay aside. You can't be focused until you lay aside every weight that can easily beset you. Lay aside every weight. Everybody say, I will lay aside every weight. Or eliminate all the non-essentials. When you eliminate the non-essential and give the essential your best, a life of excellence is inevitable. Give. I'd like you to make your life simple this year. Sit down and write down everything you do. Narrow it to the major ones. Put all your energy on the major ones. Leave the non-essential. Delegate the non-essential. Focus. Now, in this church, for instance, let me use myself as an example. To hear God for this assembly is my primary assignment. Are you hearing me? To preach and feed the sheep is my primary assignment. To carry money to bank is not my primary assignment. It's not my primary assignment. So identify your primary assignment, your major. Stop doing minor. Stop majoring on minor. Major, major. If you have been to university, you know what I'm saying. That the people in university, there are, there are uh, what do you call that course? Huh? Core course. They call it another name. Perecusite. Is that, does they call it perecusite? Because they don't call it perecusite again. You know, we were old school. <laughs> they will call it perecusite then. You cannot fail perecusite and be passing elective. You are not serious. How can you be failing prerequisite and be passing elective? Elective is borrowed course. Prerequisite is your core course. For instance, if you're studying architecture, structure is your core course. Studio, drawing is your core course. Sociology 101 or 201 is your borrowed course. You borrowed it. You can fail. If you fail that one, well, it's not good to fail, but you don't need an A in that course. But studio, you need A or B. In studio then, I don't know now, it was 10 credit load. 10. One course, 10. Sociology 101 was one credit load. To hell with one credit load. <laughs> How can I pass one credit load and fail 10 credit load? By the time they calculate your GP, you still be far behind. I mean, they told you this exam, answer three out of five, but number one carries 60 mark. What will you do with number one? We will die there. 
we will die in that number one. Sixty marks, we have to kill ourselves on that because if you cannot pass, do anything on sixty, even if you pass the forty, you have not counted in the pass mark. That's why you see students, if they don't know the number one, they are ready to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Say, eh, I will not do number one. Sixty, ah, no. Or guy, you will not collect this paper until I write. I have to write number one. Too. <laughs> Amen. But students that are not smart, he's joking with number one. He's now serious with all those other two small ones. No. Major on your major. Minor on your minor. Are you getting what I'm saying? Be focused on what is major. Identify those things that are major and focus on them. I'm going to round off quickly because time is gone. You must identify relationship, friendship that are essential in your life. There are relationships that you cannot afford to lose in 2021. Huh? There are friendships you cannot afford to lose in 2021. There are some you can afford to lose. Am I correct? So identify those major relationships and invest time, invest love, invest kindness, invest everything that you have into it. This is important. You must identify friendships that are essential in your life and give it your best shot. Like in the story of Ruth. Naomi said at this junction, go back to your family. I don't have anybody to give you. She had the choice to choose either Naomi or choose her family. But her family didn't help her even before. Nothing. She said to Naomi, your God will be my God. We are going to die together. What happened to her eventually? She was rewarded with Boaz. Stop pitching tent around her near face. Stop wasting your time and your life with people that, don't, people that will not have a, a, not even a cubit to your life. In the name that we are from the same village. is my childhood friend. Identify essential relationship. Major relationship. Invest. Give your best to them. Ask yourself at the end of every week. How have I done with my good relationship? This is important. Relationship that is not producing... Leave it alone. I've told you, fire them. Maybe you need to hear it again. Fire them without bitterness. Friendship is not by force. It is by choice. This is important in 2021. Relationship that mattered to Ruth was Naomi. For her family, she has left them many years ago. They were not really, she just said, look, let me follow you. Eventually, look at what happened. Do you know that Jesus came from the root of root? Huh? The lineage of Jesus was traced to root. Ah, if she had go, went back to her family. Ah, let's assume she decided to put sentiment. And she went back to her family. Because, I mean, is it not nice? Look at the root. Look at the lineage. She's the great, 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 great grandmother of Jesus. So if she had gone to her family, she can't produce Jesus. And she will produce her own Jesus. Only God knows where that Jesus will be now. Jesus of Oyibo. <laughs> Amen. But Jesus of Nazareth. So she made a choice between the two. You, this year you make the right choice. Time wasters will not steal your time. Dream killers will not move near you. They won't locate your address. When dream killers call you, your subscriber will not be available. You didn't say amen to that prayer very well. When dream killers call you, your subscriber will not be available. But when, when people that matter to your destiny are calling you, your subscriber will be available. Can you say amen to that prayer very well? I'm going to round off. Your resources and time must be channeled on things that matter. Your resources and time must be channeled on things that matter. As a pastor, I invest more money on, in, on knowledge, on books. Imagine if as a pastor, I invest more on something else than that. Then how will I feed the sheep? So identify things where your resources should go. Are you following me? 
I want to help somebody this morning before I close. Invest in your business. As a pastor, I know what I'm talking about. I've gone to places to preach. Microphone will not be working. Or guy will be carrying one jeep somewhere. Is that correct? That's not correct. You will probably say, it is any Latin many lole. It's only wrong in having a big jeep. But your microphone in church must work. Abi, Look at sound. It has to be clear. So that you can enjoy the jeep. You need more tools. Invest in tools. You need more knowledge and skills. Invest into yourself this year. The Bible says, when you are, it said, consider your field first before you build your house. It's in the Bible, Proverbs. Consider your what? Field first. Give your field top priority. If you give your field top priority, your field can build you a house. I know many believers have made blood that mistake because they are telling that you want to be 40 and you are still a tenant. Go and build your house. Go and build your house. He will carry big money that should go into his business. He will go and buy one land somewhere and destroy his own destiny. Because at 40, you have to live in your own house. It doesn't matter if your work is, your field is drying up. It doesn't matter. Top on your priority should be green field. Second is your house. Go and read Proverbs. No green field if the house is green to soon wither. Because you need money to maintain it. I don't know if somebody is getting Now, you may be angry with me. I'm just telling you the truth. The truth from God's word. Build your field. Let your field be flamboyant. Then the blessing that will be coming there will be flamboyant. Are you following me? There's nothing wrong in having your own house. What I'm saying is that if your field is flamboyant, it will build a flamboyant house. I've seen people carry big... They are forced big money that should go into their dream and explode them. They will carry it in one bush. They will get halfway. The money is there. You know if the money is with you, what you can do with the money? Pastor Paul Adifarasi dedicated one of the most beautiful, flamboyant cathedral a few years ago. Still a tenant. You see wisdom there? Is that no wisdom? There's nothing he wants to live in now. He cannot live in. But let's assume they have taken that money to build another island. You won't know him. You are failing in your field. It's a capital failure. Capital failure. To fail in your field as a man is capital failure. So work hard not to fail on your field. Are you following me? Your shoe may look like this for now. It doesn't matter. Invest in your field. Huh? There are many of my wonderful people in this church. If you see some of them, the tools they have, by invest in tools, invest into your business. Let it be that when they call out people in your field and you stand, you are standing in front. Although you are still a tenant, it doesn't matter, but you are standing in front. But you are a landlord. They call people in your, your, in your field. You are standing number 27. You are a failure. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, give your field consideration, then build your house. I know if I didn't say this, somebody, so it's meant for somebody here. Then build your house. Then build your house. Then build your house. That means you must be A, A plus in your field. And keep it A plus. Don't worry, you will soon live in a A plus house. You will soon wear A plus shoes. But make sure that you are A plus in your field in 2021. Stand up on your feet. Time is gone. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, I will make the right decision this year. I receive courage to say no. Our time is really gone. Say, Father, I, will, I receive courage to say no. Advice that will cause me stagnation, I will be able to say no to them. Because some of us, it is those beautiful advice they give us that distracts us. Beautiful advice. Wonderful advice. Wonderful advice. I receive grace to say no to what looks good, but there is no God in it. I receive grace to identify. Say, Father, I receive grace to, 
to, to be sensitive. Grace to identify good from bad. Grace to say no. He said there is a way that seems right to man. He said the end is the end of destruction. Grace to identify a way, the path of destruction. Grace to see the end from the beginning. Grace for accurate evaluation of events. Accurate evaluation of things. Grace for accurate evaluations. There, throughout this year, I will take the right step in the right direction. Throughout this year, I will take the right steps in the right direction. I fire every unproductive relationship. I fire every non-essentials. I remain focused on the essential in 2021. I release angels on your behalf. Angels will be on assignment for you. God will give you loyal and faithful body bearers. Men and women that will help you to be more focused. God will send into your life. I decree in your spiritual life you'll be focused on Jesus. Every link you have with strength prophet, I command them disconnected. You miss where to say a big amen. Every strange voice is speaking into your life, confusing your destiny. You are disconnected from them. If those voices that said, keep quiet, if you had listened, he would not be healed that day. Because that was the last time Jesus was passing that place before, the, before crucifixion. That was his last opportunity. So, the, to, so that shout was necessary. I decree and I declare. Every strength voices in your family and in your life that comes to distract you, confuse you, we shut them down. From today you will hear God. His voice will be clear in your mind. You will not be confused anymore. Wave your hands and give him praise. Give him all the glory and all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. 